All right, Jay here, guys, and today we're going to be taking a look at this figure out standard uh, final form Frieza. So let's go ahead, let's get started. As you can see right here, it says Dragon Ball Z figure out standard right up here in the corner. Funimation Toby sticker it says final form Frieza plastic model kit and I logo. Go down here, the illustration of the model and all his poses and all the accessories. Go over here. There's a warning, choke, uh, choking hazard, and there's a blue fin logo. You move to the top, there's caution. Warning, choking hazard, yada yada. In Japanese, final form Frieza. And it gives it like a little bio on the character. And on the side here, it it's an illustration of him looking all sadistic and stuff. And then on the bottom, of course, there's nothing. And uh, let's go ahead and let's open this up. And when you open up the box, this is what you have inside. You have the pieces, you have the stickers. This is a little stand. Death ball attack, I think, or to hold them up. I don't remember. Well, we'll figure it out later. So, yeah, those are all the pieces. This is basically telling you like the little tools that you need, the assembly instructions. And of course, the actual instruction booklet. Which is very easy to follow. So yeah, that's about it. Oh, and then there's a little... Yeah, I was right. That's the hold up the death beam. Well, anyways, that's everything that's inside the box. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and assemble this bad boy. And I'll be right back with him to reveal him. We got Frieza all assembled here. And all of his greatness. And I guess we'll start off with the articulation. So, as usual, we'll start off with the head. The head does a full 360. You will notice that the neck did move there. That does get a bit annoying. Neck does move like that. As you saw, the head does pop off fairly easy. Pops on real easy, real fragile. Um, of course, this is a model. This is not a play thing. Just keep that in mind. Now, you do have the butterfly um, joints for the shoulders, as you can see. Shoulders do go like that. Like that. Arm will do full 360. You will get 360 at the bicep. Full 360 at the wrists. And of course, you have articulation at the elbow. It will go all the way like that. And it will extend out like that. You do have a bit of ab crunch. Not a whole ton, but a bit. You can, you can swivel this 360 if you wanted to. It will do a full 360. I'd show you, but this whole part gets out of place and it's kind of a, a pain in the butt to realign. Um, you can move the legs out like that, move it in like that. Leg will go up. Oh, see how fragile it is? That just clipped out. And the leg will go all the way around. And again, this is a model, not a full on toy. And the other leg will do the same. It'll go all the way around, but as you saw, you pretty much have to unclip the torso to get it all the way around. And you do have movement at the knee, both knees. You can do a full 360 with his feet and you can move 
the feet up and down like that. And I think I said that we have movement in the wrist. And as you notice on this model, it does not suffer from the insufferable uh, wrist gap that the Super Saiyan 3 model did. The tail does move like that. And the other sections of the tail right here, as you heard the click, it will move. And the bottom most section will move as well. Now, uh, fine details when piecing this together. Um, just a minor nuisance. For me, it, it was really irritating. Applying these little stickers, these are stickers, since they're so tiny, was a major pain in the butt to apply. Um, for instance, see his teeth on this head? Those teeth, was a, that part was actually a sticker. Sticker, 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 sticker. The rest is just plastic. And it was really annoying. And now that we're here, might as well get on to accessories. Um, this is obviously a different face. This is him smiling sadistically. This is the sadistic uh, smirk. Uh, to change this, you usually just pop the head. It's really easy, real fragile. Again, boom. Just Hop back into place. Now, as for accessories, you can, I mean, he comes with these fists, okay? And he comes with the finger that's pointing. It's the finger for um, the death beam or the death ball. And then he comes with these blaster hands. Now, I don't know if it was just my model or they're all like that, but I did not receive stickers for the nails on the blaster hands. But that's fine. That's whatever. I could always paint them. Just keep that in mind. I don't know if it's mine. It could be all of them. So just keep that in mind. Now, you also get this cool little wrist um, accessory to hold up the death ball. This goes right in the hand. So let me show you how that works. You get his hand, pop that out, pops out real easy once again. And um, you get the death beam finger. It goes in place like that. You get this and this sits right there at a gap that you make and you get the death ball which is pretty cool you get the death ball and of course you get the like I said you get the blaster hand And that's for both hands, but I don't see the point of showing that off. Take this off and you could have them pointing like that. And of course it comes with the stand for the death beam. The death beam is a special clip. It clips into there. There's a hole right there where you could insert the finger. The finger goes right in there and there you go. You're shooting the death beam. So yeah, he looks he looks pretty cool. And that's pretty much all the accessories, extras that this badass little um, model kit comes with. And of course, um, there's a stand just like the figure arts figures to stand them up and pose them whatever way you want, but that's sold separately, of course.
that over here. And but you know what? For the price of admission, for the price of this figure, not bad. I cannot complain. Um, I picked this up for thirty dollars at my local GameStop. But admittedly, you can pick this up on Amazon or eBay for $20 to $30. You can also pick it up like places like Barnes & Nobles, anywhere that basically sells anime goods, you know, anime merchandise, etc. He's well worth it. Um, he's pretty light. He's, he doesn't have the weight of an actual figure like an SH Figure Arts. And speaking of SH Figure Arts, um, he is taller than a SH Figure Arts Final Form Frieza and the Golden version. So he's not really to scale. Um, he's still shorter than Goku, but he's a bit larger than I think he'd be. But he's pretty cool. For the price, you can't beat it. If you're a Dragon Ball fan, go ahead and pick it up. Like it, well articulated. Hate the stickers. I would just advise to anyone, you know, who, especially if you're experienced, even if you're not, go pick up like paint and just do the nails. Just paint the nails in, paint that in. The teeth, I mean, the teeth, that sticker, yeah, you could leave that in unless, you know, you feel confident that you could color that in yourself with the brush i couldn't but yeah he's well he's well worth the price love this figure go ahead pick it up um i will be doing other unboxing slash reviews of other models uh, i don't know if i'm going to be getting cell or if i'm going to be getting uh team gohan or the vegeta in the pot We'll see. We'll we'll see what happens. But look out for that. If you see it, don't be surprised. But yeah, definitely pick this up. Uh, thank you for clicking on this video. And I'll catch all you guys later. And as usual, um, if you could hit that like button and subscribe, it really helps content creators like myself. But anywho, I'll catch you guys down the road.